Welcome back to the Urban Farmyard, where this city girl goes country. In today's video, we are tackling the final stage of the master bedroom declutter. We are going through all the drawers. Hi guys, I hope you are staying nice and safe during the lockdown. I am pretty excited to get into today's video because it marks the final stage of the master bedroom declutter. If you haven't already seen it, head back down to my previous videos where we did the other areas in the master bedroom and then come back here and we can tackle the drawers together. So this is actually going to be reasonably straightforward for me. Um, when I moved into this house, I decluttered significantly. I'd gone from a slightly bigger master bedroom where I had both a walk-in wardrobe and several sets of drawers full of clothes and other bits and pieces. Since I've been in this house though, I've just got the master wardrobe and two bedside cabinets and that's it. So I've just got the bedside cabinets to do today, which is awesome. So let's get into it. As with my other videos, what I'm going to start by doing is removing everything from those bedside cabinets and sorting them into categories. So let's go get started. So here's what we're dealing with today. It's amazing how much you can actually stuff into these drawers. Um, Looks appalling when it's all out. So what I can see here is we've actually got quite a lot of things that don't have another home. So they're just ending up popped in drawers alongside the bed. So we need to give a lot of these things their own home. So we've got quite a lot of stationery, um, toiletries, loads of books. Now that's one of the problems I've had in this house is up until now I haven't had a bookshelf. So now that we've got one of those in another room, I can remove all the magazines and books. Ah, uh, the most extensive collection, my glasses. That's going to be a fun one to sort. And some assorted other things. So let's go through. We're going to pop these into categories and that will give us a better idea of what we're dealing with. stage is done. Honestly, sorting into categories really does make this process a lot easier. It shows you immediately where you've got a problem area. For example, do you have 654 felt tip pens in your bedside table? Um, turns out that a lot of my bedside table space was actually taken up with books, so it's going to be great to get those out of this room and onto a bookshelf where they belong. So let's go get started with that. <laughs> up starting with this is by removing all categories which don't belong in this room. I've done that because it's immediately given me a lot more clear space to go through and sort out the things that do belong in this room and need to be purged and reorganized and then put away. Um, the categories that have largely been removed, books, lots of candles, I had way more candles in here than what I actually needed. Um, a few sort of styling type items and quite a lot of stationery as well. So they're all gone, leaving a fairly neat and tidy range of things to go back into the drawers. So let's get started. I am going to purge as much as I can from here um, and then we will sort everything back into categories and pop it all away. Let's get started. 
done it is time to start organizing everything back into these drawers now when it comes to organizing drawers one of the big challenges you often have is a lot of drawer space and a lot of little things which need to go into it now if you just pop everything in to the big open drawer what's going to happen is every time you open and close open and close things are going to move around and it's going to end up a pigsty again so one of the things that I do is I put drawer dividers or these sort of compartments mentalized containers inside my drawers to help corral little things. This one here is particularly good for the top drawer. You'll tend to find in your top drawer that you have lots of little things like lip balm, hand cream, I tend to keep a nail file and other nail bits and pieces, and also medical supplies will often be in your top drawer, things like sleeping tablets, nasal sprays, that sort of thing. So this type of organizer is a really good option. So let's go through. We're going to get these things into organizers as much as possible and get them back into the drawers. just like that we are done I'm amazed this process has taken about an hour and we've gone from in some cases drawers that I couldn't even open they were so crammed with stuff to now having free drawers with absolutely nothing in them it's amazing there's a few areas here that I do still need to sort out my glasses for example are just placed in a drawer and they're going to move around as I open those drawers so once the lockdown's finished I do need to sort out a solution for those but let's go and take a quick look at the before and after because today it's pretty spectacular So that's today. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you're enjoying decluttering with me and I will see you back here tomorrow.